What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Weathering Waves video. Today we're talking about which banner order should you summon in, all right? And once you have specific heroes, what you should do after that, all right? Now this, this video is directed towards my newer Gasha players. I noticed in the stream, we streamed for like 17 hours. We had a ton of people asking like, yo, you know, what banner do we summon on? So, so I want to talk about that to make that clear so you guys do not waste your summons okay now first things first guys when you guys get into the game you guys are going to have a 20 pool right right out the gate now you're going to be tempted to look at all this other stuff but at the top what's going to happen is you guys are going to see a discount banner okay now that discount banner only costs you 50 summons and it guarantees you a random five star of the starting five okay the reason why you want to do this banner first is because it's like 50 percent off and you can get lucky and just get a five star early and then just be done with it, okay? Now, after you finish that, what's gonna happen is the beginner's choice convene is going to start, okay? Finish meaning you pull a five star. The moment you pull a five star, that banner is done, whether it's in 10 summons or 50 summons, whatever. Once you guys get that done, then this will happen. Now, the beautiful thing about the beginner's choice convene is if there was a specific five star that you're looking for, which you can change, at any time, you can just pick them, and once you do another 80 summons, paid or otherwise, um, you guys can definitely just get that hero that you want. So essentially, you have two guaranteed five stars. Now, testing this out and playing, you guys can see how much Astride I have. Um, I've been doing this completely free to play at all. So like, I haven't spent anything at all. The only thing I spent, I spent 600 Astride because I was testing how much it costs to refill your energy. Uh, or stamina or whatever, uh, just because I wanted to see what the cost was. So technically, I I've made forty eight hundred uh, and fifty one asteroids just from playing the game for free. So you guys can imagine, you know, that's a significant amount of summons. And I'd imagine once I finish everything, it'll probably be, be between ten and fifteen thousand asteroids, which means you can definitely hit a pity or two uh, just from all the free resources that they give you. Okay. Now, understanding this, when you guys are looking at this, you guys have a big decision to make once you guys finish your pity banner, okay? Well, your 50 summons, your beginner banner. You can continue to summon on this one if you want another guaranteed five star, or you can decide to go for your weapon for a particular character. Now, this is entirely up to you. This is a coin toss. If you want the weapon, go for it. If you don't want the weapon, don't sweat it. You can go for another character and just stick with the free four star box that they give you. Um, but this is just going to be up to you. I don't think there's really any better way because you'll get enough summons, I think, anyway over time to do both. So it's just whichever one you want to tackle first. Now, understanding this, guys, there's a couple of things that I want to show you um, to help you guys get some extra summons before you start tapping into your Astrite. And when you guys go into town in Jean, um, there are two buildings. One is this guy right here, the Relic Merchant. You guys can find these little squares floating around throughout the world. When you turn these squares, then this guy will give you a few summons. Not a lot. It's like two to three, maybe four uh, over time. This is not something that you're going to get fast, nor is it something that's going to have a significant impact. Now, the souvenir store, however, as you're opening chests and doing stuff in the world, is going to give you these slabs of wood that you can turn into the souvenir store to buy summons. And this is huge. If you guys haven't been using this, please make sure you guys take advantage of this. And the other thing I want to talk about for you guys is when you guys open this stuff up, you guys go to your summon. Um, if you guys have not been using the shop and going to the exchange shop, you can use the corals that you guys are getting from using your free summons, by the way, um, to buy more summons. So you can use it to buy. I've already bought mine here with my free summons, uh, but you can use this currency to buy Lustrous Tide, Radiant Tides, and use them to buy, uh, to summon on the limited, limited banner and summon on the regular banner uh, without touching your Astrite at all, okay? So understanding that this will give you a lot of opportunities, like I said, doing completely free to play, I'm probably, I already hit the pity uh, without touching my Astrite, and I think I'm like 20 summons over. Uh, so I've done a total of about 70 summons uh, without touching my Astrite at all. If I was to factor that in, I mean, you guys can see it's already a significant amount more, but I'm not going to be touching that. Now, the biggest thing, though, guys, is understanding which banner to hit first 
And then now what I want you guys to understand is what you guys are going to do after you guys summon specific heroes. What you guys are specifically looking for is a healer and a damage dealer. Your third is optional. So Verena plus whoever that deals damage or by Z who they give you for free plus two damage, whatever, however you want to do it. But working those things out, once you have those two things, you can pretty much save all, all of your summons based on the current content in the game. Just save all your summons. Don't, you know, you don't need to go crazy. You don't need to gamble. Um, now's the waiting game to really see what characters that are coming that you will want to add to your repertoire in the future. Um, and outside of that, uh, you guys will pretty much be good to go. So that's all I wanted to cover today, guys. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns about what we talked about here today, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.